Hey there, lurkers. What do you think about Was It Really a Deal? And Marathon Man? Sounds like all the deals are gone, so now I have to spend my whole paycheck on all these gifts. So let's lurk! <laughs> oh my goodness, Willie, I have not been this afraid of shopping for Christmas in a really long time. Is it COVID? No, it's you were, inflation. You, I, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't even want to go to the grocery store anymore. Like, how how little can I eat to survive over the next month? Because I feel all my money is going to be going towards whatever whatever I need to get my wife. Which, you know, it's different than a fiancé. And me... And you, I have to find something, something that like, I don't know, looks good on camera. Hey, where, I where is your wife, today. by the way? Oh, she's upstairs. Okay. Oh, oh, that one. <laughs> yeah, you polygamist. Uh, I, I, it was pretty funny. So after that episode where she was hanging out back here, I put her into the kitchen, like at our dining room table oh, okay. and I clothed her. So that uh, when my wife came down the stairs, she got to see her in the morning. <laughs> just, just fucking chilling there. <laughs> uh, I'm assuming she did not scream or. Uh... Uh, no, she she uh, she actually woke up before me and I came down the stairs just like looking haggard. <laughs> and she was like, what did you what are you doing? Why did you spend time on that? <laughs> <laughs> her her brain you know as a professional was like oh we don't have on time to to unpack this this morning <laughs> let me write it down in the notebook <laughs> it's this one it's this one that says love on it just fucking god damn it <laughs> uh there was a, a tiktok today I've, I've seen this in years past but they had gone and watched the Home Alone movie. We're oh, talking yeah. about inflation. Do you remember when Macaulay Culkin's character goes to the grocery store and he's going to get all of the like laundry detergent, food, the magazine, and then like the toy soldiers? Yeah, for the kids. Of course, for the kids. He gets two grocery bags full of things. Do you remember mm -hmm. what the price was? <laughs> no. Uh... As far as I know, it's like the Simpsons opening where it just says Maggie or something. I don't know. <laughs> A new thing every time. Right. It was under $20. It was $19.67. <gasps> How close can you get to this number without going over? Oh. Talking inflation numbers. I'll round it to the nearest dollar. All right. How much would that same grocery list be today? Mm -hmm. This grocery list had 10 items. 10. Four pack of toilet paper. A four pack. Four pack Wonder of toilet bread. paper. Wonder bread. Okay. Reynolds wrap. Not, not, you know, Ryan Reynolds should make condoms and he should call them <laughs> Reynolds wraps. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently I really like that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Kraft Mac and Cheese. Tide laundry mm -hmm. detergent, snuggle fabric Delicious. softener, Ooh. whole milk, Tropicana orange juice, a frozen turkey dinner, and a pack of toy soldiers. Ten items. And we're talking about today's Erewhon inflation prices. Mm -hmm. Do you want to go individually or am I just taking a stab at the where it was and where it is now? Well, I, I will tell you, in like his exact number, according to this article, is $19.83. What I will I tell you is the difference from 2022 to today is astronomical. So okay. you're going to go shopping at Target to get all of this because this is where we go. Yep. Okay. Uh, well, if I'm just, I'm just... It has to be at least double. But I'm going to tack some extra on here. So I'm going to say it would be $55 and... 96 cents 55 96 in 2022 
you could have gotten this for forty six dollars and seventy eight cents. <laughs> According to TikTok today, today sixty nine dollars. <gasps> oh, yeah, gets you right in the in the chest zone. Oh. All right. So well, let me ask this question: Did you do any Black Friday shopping? No, I did not. Maybe I did, and I just lied there. So I'm trying to be <laughs> a little bit more truthful. I did not do any Black Friday shopping in the uh, I don't know religious sense. Like I didn't go out of my way to make a list and check it twice and buy gifts for everybody you know why because my family doesn't like to give us the the gift list until after thanksgiving okay but i did buy something i, I bought a phone case for my for my cell phone and then i'm returning it because i was unhappy with it so technically <laughs> i didn't buy anything <laughs> this piece of garbage <laughs> Uh, no, I try not to encourage Black Friday shopping. I I want Cyber Monday to become the new Black Friday so nobody leaves their house. Is that too much to ask? Yes, apparently. Uh, Target <laughs> Target's going to be under some hot water for this one. Did did any of like the Black Friday ruses show up for you on TikTok? Mm, no, no. I, I kind of stayed off. I didn't want to be tempted by all of the sales because... As we all know, on TikTok, it's live, add, add, a couple of videos that may or may not tickle your fancy, add, add, live, live. Mine, mine. Meow, hey, what's up? Meow, hey, what's up? <laughs> meow, hey, what's up? <laughs> meow, hey, what's up? Okay, so mul multiple videos. There were people that were walking through Target, and they had these like black bannered signs that said, uh, Black Friday, Cyber Monday deals. And right. then like the text would show like best price ever. And you would see like $469 for a TV. Nice. But what they were doing is they were removing the insert to oh, see yes, that yes, the yes, 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 original yes. is the exact same price. Or it would be like 50% off a shirt that's $9.99, but it's a sticker over the $4.99 price it used to be classic tactic this uh, none of this should be okay right there's, like, there's gotta something? be a website there's gotta be a website that's like deals every day and it has to show what the deal is yeah like a stock market ticker of what the price of that thing is that's what we really need as shoppers if you want to be a true consumer economy i need this website i need it to say like all right haynes five pack of t shirt White, normally, nineteen ninety nine. When the price drops, I want it to be just like I put some uh, some puts or some sells, like how, however right. those stock things work. And so, like, all right, cool, it dropped down fifteen percent. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> or, like, it raised up. Like, get it off my list. I don't want to look at it. Go, go to the link that I just sent you. We, we all know the, the, the place everybody shops nowadays if you're going to get gifts is you're going to go to Amazon. Or I guess the, the younger people are going to go to the TikTok shop. I tried to buy one thing on the TikTok shop. I got an email like a week later that was like, turns out this was a fraud. You're not getting it. Oh, I was going to say your credit <laughs> card's been stolen. <laughs> Dude, it was supposed to be that little Game Boy thing that has like 14,000 games on it. Oh, yeah. That's not real. I think it's real, but I I tried to buy it. Never showed mm. up. Never oh, showed up. Oh, so what, what's Keepa? What is it, Scott? Keepa this away from me. What is this? Oh, exactly what you're this, asking for. Is this this okay. is okay. This is an extension that can work on every web browser that as you're scrolling mm. on TikTok at the very yeah. or on uh, Amazon at the very bottom, it will just tell you the price over time. Oh, yeah. And so leading up to this, like, Cyber Monday and Black Friday weekend, Amazon is touting, like, the best prices ever. Sure. Or Almost every single product, Scott, had a low price. And then maybe, like, two weeks minimum before Black Friday, prices hiked up. 
Mm, yep. And then they drop them back to mm. a little bit above where they were two weeks prior. See, this is why I don't want to shop. I don't want to buy anything. It's always a, it's always just like a game. It's like a trick to make me think I'm getting a deal. I know what it looks like when you just put on like, oh, here's the price it used to be. And here's some red text saying slashed down to this price. I know the color theory. I know how you're trying to get me to buy this and get me excited, but... See, Willie, I'm not I'm not so stupid when I research something for 12 months because <laughs> I want to make sure not only am I getting something that's quality, but I want to pay a decent price for it. Never buy full I, I, retail. I, I, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling like an idiot right now because you said just to like buy a pair of shoes, you'll you'll think about it for like months, months, months. We bought a house in two weeks. No, I, know. <laughs> I have I, thought about can buying. I tell? Like, oh can I god, tell? can I huh? tell people? Yeah, can I tell people the story about that house? What do you mean? Did you go shit in it? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm saving some up for you know your your gift, your housewarming gift. <laughs> oh god! All right, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, it is Halloween. I invite my best friend and his wife over. We are sitting at the table waiting for the kids to show up. Inevitably, they did not because it was too cold. However, we're, we're talking about life. They're married now. They're settling in. And guess what? The topic of where do they want to live in the future comes up. And they say, and I quote, you know what? We're probably just going to pump the brakes on that, you know. We're just going to we're beep, just gonna beep. take some time and maybe travel a little bit and just enjoy being married. We've got this place for a while. We're not going anywhere. Prices aren't getting any better. So, no. let's just let's just hold. And I, being your supportive friend, said, "That's a good idea. I like that." Cut to 1 week later. <laughs> Hey, Scott, I think we're going to put an offer on the house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 okay. What, what changed? Uh, you know, this house is just here. There's a good deal. And because, you know, I can't hear very well, like, that's what it sounded like to me. But I was just like, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. I Go for it. mousy to you? Sometimes. But it's not like, it's not you. It's me. I know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Lo and behold, in the span of two weeks, they have put an offer on this house. A- and you got it, right? It's yours? Yep. Technically, I under, think so. It's contingent, or you signed a contract. Did you pay them any money? Uh, we, put, we put our earnest money down, yes. Okay. It's the importance. Uh, so far, where we're at now, we could we could say, like, Peace, we're done. We don't want to do this, but we won't get our earnest money back. So, it's kind of official. We're going to get the house. (laughs) Your wife and my wife were talking, and she was asking how the process was going. Uh, And, 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 you know, Bree was like, hey, uh, things are going well, but I don't don't know if we're getting the house. (laughs) And then, of course, you and I had being... In the know, I was like, I don't, I don't think Bree knows how this works. Like, <laughs> you don't get any of that money back you're giving them, like right now. So, like, you're kind of in for a penny, in for a pound with this. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Congratulations. Congratulations, anyway. I'm looking forward to shitting in your house and uh, you. seeing it, you know, with everybody else. And we'll maybe have a new studio. Yeah. A We're going to work studio. on putting, uh, so far, the basement. Is all mine, Scott. Just like Ooh. you, I'm relegated to the basement. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it looks like I'm in this small little box. Help. Help me. <laughs> uh, I've got all the time in the world, however, to do basically what I want as long as I'm not in the way. That's what I've been told. I oh, can move okay. my That's stuff really nice. wherever I want as long as it's not in the way. And uh, I've got like... A TV down here. I've got all my video games down here. I've got lots of beer. I mean, sodas down here. One day, I want to see you shotgun a beer. 
Just like <laughs> I just want to see you do the little key thing. And go nineteen nineteen. Uh-huh. I'll do and it. then how quickly, how quickly, if you were to chug a beer, do you think you would start feeling some, like, stuff? Negative? Negative effects? Yeah. Mm, within uh, probably, like, 15 minutes, it would get pretty bad. Like, I don't know if I would be able to stand anymore. <laughs> cool. <laughs> what, what, would you barf? I would. There's a very good chance, yeah. Oh, then Strong. never mind. I don't want to do Strong it. Strong possibility. <laughs> hey, I am a I man would... of my word. Okay. Last week... You said, Will, you need to buy some Air Jordans. Mm hmm. And I sent you a pair that I really enjoyed. I like, uh, I I did what you would do. And asked I did around. a little, uh, uh, I asked around. It's like, hey, do I you asked think... around on your behalf. I did some A B testing. What do you guys think? Mm-hmm. Would you get this? Would you not get this? And everybody's like, oh my God, those are really great. Those are really nice colors. Uh, that's I got the same when you... results. When you sent me a text today and you're like, dude, 25% off, which is an Extra. actual real deal. Extra. On top of the percentage, it was already off. Yeah. All the sizes except for like size 14 were sold out. That's what happens when you wait. So r- real time follow up. <laughs> what do you think of these ones? Because if it's something that you think, oh, that's not a bad deal. 112, uh, which seems expensive. Mm, nope, nope. Those are still good looking. And considering you like to wear a lot of light jeans, I'd say these light gray Jordan 1s. It's kind of like a green. It's It's got like a hint of green in them. Is it? What's the official color? Oh, is that green? That looks nice. Okay. So that's like a faded mint. Yeah. Yeah, that it's a faded nice. mint. I swear to God, if somebody's listening to this episode and they're like, I'm going to get the shoes before Willie gets the shoes. <laughs> fuck you, man. Well, I would hope by the time they are listening to this, considering it is now four days later, you, you have already uh, procured them. Yeah, but 119? Oh, you said 112. Apparently the price went up. I don't know. No, 112, uh, uh, 112.50. Yeah. Um, is that before what? or after the twenty five percent off shipping? Because you have, you haven't entered in the cyber deal, have you? I did. Yeah. Oh, okay. Total one fifty shipping and handling seven, no tax. Uh... Minnesota, nice. Discount thirty seven fifty, one nineteen fifty. That's a great deal. I I paid at least that for my dunks. Oh my god! I have to tell you about these shoes I'm going after. Did I show them to you before? No, did you? All right, I want I want you to look up Dornbacher, spelled like it sounds. <laughs> Dornbacher threes, twenty twenty three. I'll type it for you if you need help. Yes, please. I can't. I mean, I can't even spell your name. All right, just type that in, copy pasta, and tell me what you think of that shoe. Those are green. Those are very green. This yeah. is like, you got done watching Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and said, <laughs> yes, I I'm will have that. walk through the sewers. Yeah. Am I seeing this right? No, hold on. I don't know what website I'm on. <laughs> do, do they glow? Uh, I don't know if they glow, but they're very neon and blue and gray and highly coveted. They've got like the drip, like a literal drip. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is a collab that Nike and the Dorenbacher charity for children's hospitals uh, do every single year. And they have kids who are sick. Make the shoes. How fucking dare you? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's like the reverse Make-A-Wish. <laughs> so it's just a Wednesday for them. I got it. Right. Uh, But no, the kids get to design it and like the winning designs get made into these shoes. The originals get made and put up for auction. And like so far, Nike has raised $37 million for this charity. So it's pretty cool. But everybody wants these shoes. Of course. That shoe that I'm going for. They're made by children. The shoe that I'm going for. Mm -hmm. (laughs) That shoe retails for $225. Good God, dude. No way. Hear me out. It is already being pre-sold 
on StockX, which is a stock market for aftermarket shoe sales, for $5,000. Somebody has pre-bought the shoes. Mm -hmm. Who has that amount? Oh, God. (laughs) See... I bought a house. I bought a house. Everything you is fine. A house. Those people I got were like, you for my wife one to go house, for not two houses? <laughs> my buddy just texted me, who uh, has a lot of friends who, who would say that sentence out loud and mean it. What is the most you would pay for an elite pair of shoes? <sighs> Probably, are we talking boots or just shoes? Footwear. Because I buy... That is uh, like non-sport related footwear, right? Like, are we talking like a pair of Red Wing boots? Sure, those are three fifty, and although it hurts <laughs> to think, like right now, it's only because everything else is so expensive. But normally, oh, I wouldn't. I, w- I I have an idea for you. Your favorite thing, mm-hmm. the thing you have dreamt of your whole life. Is that if you were to make enough money, I know you, I know my best friend. Yeah. 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 You want custom everything, custom clothes, bespoke. hats, mm-hmm. bespoke everything. Did you know that there's uh, a company in Italy that will make bespoke dress shoes for you? I would assume they would make everything for me bespoke in Italy. Like, that's, that's how much tailors came from. What, what, how much number would you pay? For a custom set of shoes that takes them roughly a year to make. I, I went down this weird <laughs> rabbit hole on TikTok and then I found them and I love them. How much? Mm, I mean, I, uh, I mean, uh, you and I are not like professional comedians who buy each other uh, Hitler gifts every single year or cars or anything like I, I can afford Red Wing boots, and that, that's my limit. <laughs> Scott, what if I told you a set of custom shoes is a thousand dollars? Yeah, that sounds right. I'd pay that. But what? Are they, they're just dress shoes. If the four of us ever decide to go on like a European trip together, where the uh-huh. girls can sleep in one room and you and I can sleep together, we have to go <laughs> get these shoes. We're just going to sneak away in the middle of the night after sex, of course, and go to the shoe shop and wait outside and say like, hey, we've we've done some terrible things in our lives, but we're here to make it right. I need this pair of dress shoes and I will come back in exactly 364 days and pick them up. It takes them like a year to make or more, but also the wait list is like two years long. So we should get on Aww. it right now. Yeah, it's a marathon. yeah, Okay. All right. And while we're there. We'll we'll get some get some other things too, like I don't know, suit, maybe some some marble, some good Italian marble. We can make, we can design a bathroom in your house, fit for a king, dude. Where you're where you you know arguably gonna spend so much of your time. Did you know that the average guy spends seven hours in the bathroom a day? Same. Yeah. <laughs> Total uh, through the course of one year. Only? And that's They're... what I was talking about. I'm like, those are right <laughs> numbers. <laughs> no, yeah. 40 minutes every morning. Just <laughs> My wife is like, what are you doing in there? Nothing. <laughs> really, I need you to click on this link now because we're tying it all together. Okay. We're coming to the end of this marathon that is this episode. Wow. As it turns out. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing man the wait list you were talking about this wait list that is uh is very long and i was talking about how guys like to spend a lot of time in the bathroom and they're what is probably not bespoke italian marble throne i was re- i was looking for stories today and uh I, I came across this one not literally figuratively that i i came across this story you were searching for something, weren't you? <laughs> uh, the title, I'm just going to read out loud. And I'll let, I'll let the lurkers be the judge, but there was a man trying to break the masturbation world record. And he's got some tips for the approach to self-pleasure. 
Now, I don't want you to scroll if you haven't already, if you haven't looked at the exact number, but just take a guess. We'll see if no, you can get I, in the ballpark. No, I haven't scrolled past the photo of Zachary Levy, right? <laughs> no, it's not Shazam. Joseph oh. Gordon-Levitt. Oh, close enough. <laughs> Be, before we go on, I know exactly who I'm going to send this article to. I'm going to okay. beep this out for the lurkers, but I'm going to tell you. Friend of the show. <laughs> has shared with me that uh, he's on this new medication and oh. it makes it really hard, not in a good way, to to finally come to the, the you know, realization. The final countdown. Yeah. And on many occasions, he has fully closed his move ring trying <laughs> to. <laughs> well, you know, he can't uh, keep a good man down. <laughs> and everybody loves a challenge, but just take a guess on what the world record is for, for times in a day. No, 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 no. For continuous self pleasure without the the final. I don't know if that if it matters. Like you just keep oh, man. going, dude. You I know I what mean, the commercials they... say, right? If it lasts longer than four hours, you're in trouble. You could die. Okay, so. We're, hmm. It's got to be a full work day, like eight hours. You're not far off. Nine hours and thirty three minutes. Dude, did that guy take a take a government mandated lunch break? <laughs> <laughs> when you're trying to break a world record, I'm assuming there's some multitasking involved. Like you got to hopefully switch hands and use a lot of Purell, but drinking and eating. During, you would have to imagine, like, it's, it's got to be happening, right? You wear one of those camel backpacks? Hold on. Maybe a, maybe a toucan beer <laughs> helmet? <laughs> it's just got pineapple juice? Yeah. If I'm going gonna, gonna to do this, it's going to be the biggest load you've ever seen. <laughs> Dude, uh, I'm reading just yeah. one line. I read one line of the article. I paused and went, excuse me? Why? Are, what? <laughs> Interestingly, the record is actually part of San Francisco's establishment's annual masturbate a thon <laughs> fundraiser. <laughs> the event simultaneously raises money for various charities, dispels self pleasure shame, and contributes to various debates about safer sex. It raises awareness as well as other things. Cool. <laughs> Now, this guy thinks he has already beaten the record. Of course. <laughs> he did it behind closed doors. Oh, I bet he beat it. I bet he beat yeah. it real good. <laughs> he says that it's work to go beyond six hours, but you have to strive to keep it pleasurable. Well, the first six hours are amazing. Seven and eight, terrible. <laughs> Dude, that man can't have skin. Like, it's got to be gone. <laughs> oh, yuck. It's like, like a dude, dude. Titan. <laughs> <laughs> which is Just what I would face. describe. Which is what I would describe this act. <laughs> That's the new name. That's the new name of the fundraiser. Attack on Titan. <laughs> Oh, God, it's okay. so funny. You know, our, our wives are like, all they do is boy talk. And I'm like, we're a sophisticated <laughs> show. No. We speak in which we got to have them on. We got to have them on soon. Yeah. Uh, let's let's or find. Do, do we want to have them on Saturday morning review? Mm. Because we were going to watch that show. Which Oh, the scary one? No, the naked one. Oh, yeah. Should we do that next week? Let's try. Okay. Sweet. I'm in. I'm down. All right. Well, that's our show, lovely lurkers. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Uh, if you like the show, please tell a friend and rate and review wherever you lurk. We appreciate your love so much. Remember, be kind to each other. Take your time with it, apparently. <laughs> and we'll see you this weekend.